Okay, here we have a tutorial on the VAG1551 diagnostics machine from the Volkswagen Audi Seat and Skoda dealers. Uh, this is to show you how to use the print function on the machine. So, first of all, we're plugged into the car, in this case a 2004 Audi A4. Switch the ignition on. And the first thing we need to do is to select the print function. So we're going to press the print button, funnily enough. A little light comes on to indicate that everything we do now will be printed off as we do it. So we select function one for diagnostics. Here we go. And we'll do zero, 01 address for the engine control unit, or as this is from a German VW dealership, it comes up with motor electronic. Press Q to select. Tester sends address word zero, 01. Please wait. Now printing off the information from the control unit has come up on the screen. Press the forward arrow carries on printing the immobilizer information that's now come up and we select the function of 02 there's no faults found in this system but it will print that off and just let you know and then we end the output so now we have the print off just we can either Pull it slightly, or we can press the print feed button down here. Feed it through a little bit. Nice little sharp teeth there. So you simply tear it off. And there you have your printout. In this case, telling us, this actually has at the top of it the workshop that it came from, the dealership and in Germany and it, here we have the printout showing the part number from the control unit 1.9 litre, the workshop service code and the immobiliser part numbers and sorry it's a little bit blurry it's just trying to focus, kind fella air count, in this case no fault found. If there were faults in the system obviously it would print off the fault codes down there and a description. In this machine it would be in German but quite easily to translate and if you look up the fault codes anyway you'd uh, look them up in English. So there we have it, you get a nice little print out there. Um, if you want to change the paper in the machine it's quite simple. What we have is we have two buttons either side so you press the button and press the button it pops out and what we've got there is we've got a little cartridge with a roll of paper and instructions in there on how to change it. You just simply feed it through there and then you press the paper feed button to bring it through. Uh, there is a way of putting it back in so you have to then press both buttons on the sides again and it obviously slides back in. In that case I had the machine upside down so it's a little bit like Arkwright's till for those that remember that in open all hours and uh, yeah it's all back in there and there we go when you finish press the print button again the green light will go off and it's back to normal mode